Hey guys, Darren from Florida Saltwater Life here. I do a lot of shooting on a boat and use a GoPro for a lot of what I do. If you've ever used or owned a GoPro, you know that uh, they're amazing little cameras. However, they do have a couple of shortcomings. One is audio. If you put it in the full sealed housing, the audio is just unusable. Uh, if you put it in the skeleton housing, it improves some, but it's still pretty garbage and then your camera's not waterproof anymore so the audio on these needs some great improvement and, and there's ways to do that and we'll go over that the second problem is battery life they just will not hold up to a whole day's worth of shooting so there's ways around that I'll show you how to run both a mic and all day power so let's first address the mics uh, one of the most popular choices out there albeit expensive and I don't own one is the Rode VideoMic Pro they're two hundred dollars but they're like the standard of the industry for vloggers and whatnot they're they're an amazing microphone um, but being out there on the boat getting wet two hundred dollars just isn't in my budget the next one is for twenty dollars I get a very similar microphone although it's just uh, sort of a knockoff to it Here's one out of the box already. I keep a couple in stock. I get them for $20 off of eBay. They're a Movo VXR1000. They run on a AAA battery. They come with that foam to help cut down on wind noise and they come with this wind buster, this dead kitten or, or whatever you want to call this. So, uh, and they're amazing at cutting wind noise out. Now, if you're going to run a microphone such as this, you're gonna need this adapter cable this is the uh, I highly recommend the GoPro factory one it's good quality if, if this thing is loose in here and you're bouncing this around you'll get clicking and crunching noises and it just is ruin your video factory one I've never had an issue with and it adapts to a three and a half millimeter pin my favorite option it's a little more expensive but it's a Saramonic GoPro uh, Go mic, and the beauty of that microphone is it plugs straight into the camera. It's pretty slick setup. It's pretty good at keeping wind noise down, and the and the sound quality is heads and tails above the factory mic sound. So this stuff I use and get wet and all. I always keep a brand new spare one on hand, like the like the Movo VXR1000 and, and the GoPro uh, the Go mic, I keep, I keep extras of those on hand, they're, they're relatively inexpensive and if I need to shoot, I need to shoot, I need the sound to work the other option we have here, and I'm not real thrilled with this one, I purchased this and, and wish I hadn't although it's a good mic and it's very compact I don't know how to pronounce the name, but it's Edutige, I guess ETM001 it's a very compact microphone and the sound quality is pretty darn decent out of it but it doesn't come with the windsock so the mic itself I got off eBay for twenty seven dollars then I had to get uh, the fur windscreen which is an EWS 003 that guy was twenty six bucks so I got well over fifty bucks into this microphone and and like I say it's I wouldn't make this purchase again it's um, just my other issue with it, well it's always tough to get that thing in the windsock, but once you put it uh, on your cord here, there's no way to mount it. It's just it's just dangling around. If it starts banging against something, it's it's making noise the whole time. So now we'll jump back to the Movo. The problem with a Movo is it's got a cold shoe mount on it. Well GoPro housings don't have cold shoe mounts. So you got a couple of options. You can put the tripod mount on a bracket like this. These are anywhere from 10 to the sky's the limit. I've got this one off B&H Photo and Video for $12. I think it's a Velo, Velo, uh, 12 or 15 bucks. And I can put this tripod mount right on there and then put the mic right up here. But it's rather, it makes a nice handle and all, but it's, it's rather sizable and bulky. Another option you have is these little aluminum housings uh, out of China. 
several brands. I, they're probably made all in the same place, but they're under uh, a bunch of different names. This one is, I don't know how to pronounce this either, P-U-L-U-Z for Hero 4. Uh, I bought this off of uh, Amazon for $28 and then bought a UV filter for another $8. It's a 37 millimeter filter to protect my lens. Um, I went with this one. There are cheaper options, but they didn't have this back door. What holds your camera in is uh, you just drop your camera in there and then crank down on this screw and uh, it squeezes your camera in there. I didn't really like that idea. And then a lot of them don't have this protective area over it either for your lens. So your, your camera's just hanging out there to scratch the lens. It didn't have the back door to keep it in. But uh, once you put your camera in there, she's in there. And then you have a place to mount your microphone, your cold shoe. Now this guy has a quarter twenty screw on the bottom so you can you can use a bracket such as this it'll thread right on here if you want it comes with uh, the GoPro swivel mount so you can you can put it on the uh, floaty handle or whatever other mount you want to put it on and and you got your windproof mic right there so so that's a pretty slick setup now the battery life here's the problem once you plug a mic into that port, you can no longer get your power cord to it. And you're powering a mic, so it's draining your battery quicker. So the hack or the way around that is buy a battery backpack. Now I'm a big fan of GoPro factory stuff, so I went and got the factory. There's, there's less expensive ones out there. The battery backpack for the Hero 4 is 50 bucks, uh, but it simply snaps right on. You can plug your power cord into that, and then the other end's the USB. So you can do anything from plug it into a computer to plug it into a uh, cell phone battery backup, one of those little sticks or, or boxes that have power. How I'm running this is I plug it into a cigarette lighter, lighter adapter and plug it in a cigarette lighter on my boat or in my truck or ATV or whatever I'm using the film on. Now, when you start plugging all this stuff in, stuff in and putting a battery backpack on it, you can't use the standard housing. You need openings. So you've got to get or have the skeleton housing with all the openings in it. So you're no longer going to be waterproof. So there's a skeleton housing and I can get to everything. Now because I'm shooting on the boat and taking so much spray and getting so wet, what I've gone and done is I've taken a standard housing that's all sealed And I've taken a Dremel tool and I've just cut out where the cords have to go. So they barely squeak in there. So I can keep a lot of the salt water off the camera. If it's going to get real bad, you can go to the drugstore and get uh, this earplug, wax earplug material. Uh, it's soft, like almost like candle wax that you can form and put in your ears. Well, you can pack it around these openings. To, to give you some more water resistance. It's nothing I'd use underwater, but it sure does help. And this is how I run it on the boat, just like this. So I get decent sound. I run it on this ball mount. I stick uh, the mounting pads. Uh, let's see. Stick these guys all around the boat so I can just snap this thing in wherever I want it. Plus on the ball head I can I can turn it as I want I, I love these ball heads here so anyway that's my setup if you like what I showed you subscribe I do all kinds of different things everything from hunting stuff to fishing stuff to I have a series called fishing with hotties to uh, how to repair outboard motors so if you like what you see here please subscribe it helps me bring you more of this thank you and have a great one